What's going on everyone, Alex here and welcome back to the channel. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. Today's video we are doing a What's in My Camera Bag 2023. So I haven't uploaded a video in about nine months and there's a very good reason for that. First off, it's because I'm a father. Yeah, that's right. My wife and I welcomed our baby boy into the world about a couple weeks ago. So we've just been enjoying the parenting life as of late. Uh, but within those nine months, you know, I had to prep a nursery and, and just, you know, prep being a father. You know, it's, it's wild to think about that I, I look at, you know, our child and think, wow, like he's a combination of me and you. And it's just, it's, it's crazy but uh, we're super thrilled, super excited. And secondly, full disclosure, Brevity did send me this camera bag to do a video on. Uh, they're not gonna review it. They're gonna see it at the same time as you guys are seeing it right now. Um, so it's 100% my opinion and it is a great bag. I'll give it that. I love the minimalist design of it. Uh, it deters potential thieves away from it just because it does look like a normal backpack. And that I do love. Probably my favorite feature about this bag is this hidden little pocket on the back here. I don't know why, but I just, I love little pockets, little knickknacks that you can store your cell phone, for instance. I just love it. And you can store your cell phone, your passport, your wallet. So if you're on the go, you can kind of store it right there and it's on your back and no one is the wiser. So with that said, let's go ahead and see what's in my camera bag, shall we? So first up on the camera bag, let's go ahead and get in this front little compartment right here. This will house a lot of little knickknacks. You know, for instance, I've got my ND filter uh, there. It's the Sandmark ND filter. I did a video on it. I'll link it right up here. Still a great little ND filter. And then next up we have my uh, Sony MPF battery, uh, dummy battery to uh, D-tap. This is for my monitor, which you'll see here in a little bit when I, when I rig out my R5, my little cinema rig that I've been using as of late. And I've got a, another D-tap to dummy battery, but this one is by Condor Blue. And this uh, basically will help power my R5 if need be. But I have been using my normal Canon batteries. Uh, haven't really used this a whole lot, but if I have a, like a long interview that I need to do, I'll probably use this and just attach it to my V-mount battery. And as well, we've got, speaking of V-mount, we've got the V-mount plate right here. This is by uh, uh, Tilta. And I'll go ahead and set that there. And then in here, I've got my HDMI cable to go to my monitor. Um, literally the worst thing about the R5 is, you know, the, what is it, like micro HDMI or whatever it is. The worst possible thing about it, hate it. But uh, that is there. And then, you know, that's pretty much it. I think I've got some uh, earbuds in there as well. Just, you never know when you need earbuds. Cause sometimes I forget my, my cans and I'm like, how am I supposed to listen to this audio? And if you just stick some cheap earbuds in there, in your bag, you'll always, always have headphones then. So that's the front compartment right there. Let's go ahead and jump into the top compartment right here. Go ahead and zip it open. Um, and it's it's a pretty decent little, little cavity in there of just holding equipment. So right now I've got my V-mount right here. Uh, this is 150 watt by Indie Pro. This makes my small HD run forever, it feels like. So set that off to the side. I've got a top handle by Small Rig, I believe. I can't remember if that's actually small. I think it is small rig, but uh, it's a NATO rail. Um, you'll see that here in a little bit as well. It's a great little handle. And then right here is my base for the, uh, as you can see right here, maybe if it'll, yeah, my base for the R5. Um, this is definitely by small rig. And uh, what I love about this is it's got a um, Arca Swiss plate on it. So it just snaps on, snaps off very quickly. So I'll set that off to the side. And then in here, if you can see it, maybe if I hold it open. Ah. So right here, I've got a little pocket to hold other little knickknacks, um, which is great. I love pockets within pockets on camera bags. Uh, this just holds my memory card case and my battery case as well. Also shout out to, you know, this guy right here. Uh, this is uh, Date Mike. Nice to meet me. Let's go ahead and open up into the main compartment of this bag. 
and you can see it's just holding, you know, R5. Uh, got a couple lenses right here, 35 right there, 85 millimeter, um, but a 50 millimeter is on the R5 already. So as you can see in there, you can still, you know, open this up and still kind of shove a couple little things in there if need be, but uh, let's go ahead and start building this guy out. So like I said, R5, it's got a small, it's got a small rig uh, cage on it. If Let's see if it'll focus. Yeah, small rig cage right there and um, it's got the NATO rail on top, but like I said, it's Arca Swiss. So I should be able to just slap this guy on, just like that, kind of line it up, set it down, tighten it down, and there we go. It is on there, it's secure, it is, can you see that? Yeah, it's focusing. So now we've got the rails, everything on there with the R5. Let's go ahead and add the V-mount plate. And like I said, I've been trying to keep this as minimal and sl slim as possible. I do not want a lot of bulk with this. So the V-mount plate, if you can see right there, I just focus. Yep, I just throw it and I have it right up in the back of the camera. Just like I said, don't want a lot of room to, to play. I want it to just be slim, compact. Uh, very portable. Uh, let's go ahead and do the top handle here. Like I said, NATO rail, and then you're done. So let's go ahead and add that V-mount on the back there. So there you have it, V-mount, secure. And as you can see, it's just, it's already looking pretty slim, and I like that. So take that lens cap off too. And now onto my monitor here, which I didn't pull out, but yeah, like I said earlier, I have the small HD monitor, if it'll focus, focus, yeah, it's the seven inch uh, small HD monitor. Um, this is the Indy 7, yeah, Indy 7. It's been awesome, I've I've loved this monitor. It's, it is, it's like a thousand nits, so it's not super bright, but the color accuracy and I can still see it in, in daylight, so it works for me. Go ahead and attach that here to the top. Let's go ahead and add the Sony MPF battery. I like to add it to this side over here. Find it. So with that, I do have a, a sprig on the side here that I just take the cable and it just kind of holds it in place. And then I'll just go ahead and add the VTAP to it. Make sure you attach it properly, or you can definitely fry your stuff. Really, the last thing I have to do is add that uh, terrible HDMI. What I'm using is uh, basically the cable like protector or whatever that came with the uh, R5. I just use that. I mean, I haven't bought anything to actually uh, keep the cable in place, but I just use that. I attach it like so. So soft click in and then screw it into the body. And then got some excess on this cable. So we'll go ahead and just wrap it a couple times around. And then it should just pop into the bottom here. And there you guys go. That is been my tiny little R5 uh, cinema rig, uh, if you will. And uh, it's been great. I've been loving how small and compact it is. Uh, there's not a lot of, a lot of, not a lot to it. And uh, I've been enjoying taking this around rather than, you know, lugging around, you know, the C200 or um, my Pocket 4K. Um, my Pocket 4K has been sitting on the sidelines for quite a while. I'll save that for another video. So be sure to subscribe if you wanna hear me uh, talk about how I've been feeling lately with the Pocket 4K. This bag has been great for just housing you know, my lenses, this small little setup for my R5 little cinema rig, and I, I just couldn't be happier with it. Like I said, love the minimalist design of it. It's small, compact. Also, quick note, it does have a laptop compartment sleeve right here. Just forgot to mention it, uh, but it does house my laptop from time to time when I'm on the go with this guy, and uh, yeah, it's, it's held up relatively well. 
Well guys, that does it for me on this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you aren't already. Tap that notification bell so you can be notified when I upload a new video. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Till next time, shoot to create. Cheers.